Hi, in this clip the question is, what is the concept of value exchange management? VEM, I just made that up. Um, I'm sure it's, it's an idea, a perspective that, that most people in distribution land have not thought of before. But basically the idea is that in business, generally speaking, uh, if we want to go out and, and get a higher price, that higher price is actually supported first and foremost by a, a perceived service value. I mean, if I'm a, if I'm a consumer and somebody says, well, I'll, I'll charge you 10 bucks to do something, I'm thinking, wow, that's a deal. I would have paid 15. If I thought, well, I'd pay nine and they offered me 10, I'd say, I don't think so. So first we have to go out and create a service value proposition where the customer, frankly, would be willing to pay even a little bit higher price, uh, but certainly they're paying our asking price. Uh, so price is, is first comes perceived value, then then comes price, then comes cost. In other words, if we we're, we're doing something for somebody, we want to do it at a cost that's less than what they'll value and pay for. It. So they'll give us margin dollars, then we subtract our cost to serve from it, and we have net profit. So we're starting to think about the, the concept of margin dollars, less cost to serve equals net profit. That's kind of a, let's call that a value exchange. And we want that to be positive. In theory, every customer we do business with, they should be net profitable or, or very quickly so. Otherwise, why bother? Why wouldn't we take our time and energy and, and work with some other customer as opposed to let's spend our resources losing money? Uh, and not, when we start to do cost to serve analysis and therefore come up with customer profit by ranking reports, we find out at the top and the bottom of the reports that actually the margin percents and the cost of service vary widely. I mean, there is no you know, guaranteed best margin percent of the warehouse we need minimally to make money. That doesn't exist. And, and we'll, well, I'll prove that to you in, in subsequent Eclipse. Right now, I just want to get across the concept of, of, uh, of looking at, at that, that equation and starting to think about uh, what we can do to manage that equation better. Uh, a related question is, when we have a high cost to serve for taking care of a customer because they're calling us up five times a day and order a teaspoon at a time as opposed to one pound at the end of the day, uh, so a lot more transactional activity costs and stops the truck with smaller orders or whatever, um, why is that also increase the customer's total procurement cost? So if our CTS cost of serve goes up and their TPC goes up, then it's lose-lose. But the, the parallel, the, the, or the reciprocal, the, the flip side of the story would be if we can work with the customer to get them to consolidate their activities, then our cost to serve goes down and, and paradoxically their total procurement cost will also go down for a win-win type of thing. And uh, we find that if we go get big, more volume from any and everybody, we're not focused on the value exchange equation that's going on with somebody. I mean, ideally, I don't want to sell any and everybody something. I would rather sell everything to somebody who's on a profitable basis who also has a future and is growing. So we, I, I just want to use this clip to introduce the idea that we're going to start looking at value exchange equations. And in the next couple of slides, we'll look at some specific case studies and draw some conclusions from that. Thank you.